open the computer and clicked on the VS Code icon without knowing what to do. As always, I went into the browser and searched for YouTube. Without having any project to do, I just scrolled through YouTube. But then, an idea came into my mind. It was to make a 3D maze game. But how can I make one? I don't know Unity and my computer will blast if I try to use Unreal Engine. So I type Unity and open the website and clicked on download. Knowing that Unity projects are large and Unity is not lightweight, I cancelled it. Again back to YouTube. Then I found this video. Godot Lightweight. That's all that you want. I knew about Godot and it supports both GDScript and C Sharp, but never used it before, so I decided to download that. I downloaded the .NET version because I don't want to learn GDScript just for Godot. I didn't use C Sharp either. But with the knowledge of Java, I continued as C Sharp is just the same as Java. The only difference, C Sharp is not hated like Java is. I knew nothing about Godot, so I took a 11 hour long video and watched it for 30 minutes. Then I went to the documentation of Godot to learn some Godot with C Sharp. Then I completed the first game in Godot documentation with C Sharp and was ready to make my game. But now, how to generate the mazes? I have no clue. So I just searched for maze generator in Python. After looking through some websites, finally I got one in medium.com. But the code is too repetitive and I want to shorten that. So who will do that? ChatGPT for sure. So I asked ChatGPT to shorten the code and make it better. The stupid thing keep on writing the same long thing and fills the 250 lines. After hours of prompting, I finally got what I wanted. I also added a small piece of code to mark the end and start block with different characters. Now we are ready to go 3D. I created a new Godot project and created a new scene for the home UI. Then I made a button to play in the center. Then I created another scene for the world or the game playing scene and added a static ground. I created the player which is just a capsule and added a camera and put him on the world scene. I set up a basic first person controller for the player just by creating a script. Now we created two more scenes, one for the wall and one for the cylinder which represent the end of the level. I created a basic maze array and based on the data in the array I drew the walls on the world scene with this code. Basically we loop through the array and wherever there is a W we put a wall there and wherever there is E we put the end cylinder there. Then I added a timer and the player loses the game when the time ends. Now it's time for creating multiple levels. I added a new scene which is the level scene. Now the button should be added from the code based on the number of levels. I calculated the width of the buttons using some logic and created them. Then I created a separate file to store the arrays of different levels and get the required one based on the level the player wants to play. I searched for how to connect multiple buttons and have a unique identifier for each button in Google and also YouTube but didn't get what I wanted. So I used some, some, some maths and logic to do the same by checking on where we click on the screen with the mouse. This is how I did it. I checked the position of the mouse when clicking on the left mouse button and found out the button which was clicked. Then I sent that data to world scene to get that specific maze from the levels data. Now the only thing remaining to implement is saving of levels. I looked in YouTube on how to do that. There are multiple tutorials but I was not able to convert from JDScript to C Sharp. Finally I got it. I implemented the saving with this code. I saved the unlock level variable as a string in a file and accessed the value using load data function. I then saved them and increased its value when the player completes the highest level. With this the game is complete. Finally, this is how the game looks like and this is what I wanted. I am more than happy to have completed this project. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe.